Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video we're going to be having a look at the window.scroll2 method within JavaScript. Okay, so this method right here, as the name suggests, it allows you to scroll to a particular position um, programmatically through JavaScript. Okay, so um, what's great about this, uh, this method is you can also uh, specify that you would like to have a smooth transition, which of course gives you a nice transition as the actual uh, window scrolls down or aside or whatever it might be. So um, this also works in the exact same way as is the window.scroll method. So the scroll and the scroll to method are the exact same. Now, unfortunately, I do want to mention uh, first that the smooth transition property or um, option does not currently work um, on uh, iOS devices as far as I'm aware. So I've tested it on an iPad and unfortunately it does not work and there are also some online sources which also suggest the same thing so just keep that in mind. But let's have a look at how the scroll to method works. So as we can see right here I've got a bunch of dummy text on my page so let's scroll down using scroll to. We can say window.scroll2 and then we have here two different ways of using this method. We can pass through an X and Y axis or um, an object containing a few options. So first, I want to show you the most basic form and that is passing through an X and Y position. So the first one here is going to be your X position. Now, right now on this page, I have no scroll horizontally. So I'm just going to say zero for this value. Um, and for the y-axis, I can say, for example, 200. So it's going to scroll down on the y-axis, obviously going downwards. So if I was to press enter, we can see right there, it goes to a 200 scroll. If I was to say now window.scroll y and get this property, we of course get 200. Now, if I was to continue calling uh, the scroll to, we can see nothing actually changes. And the reason why nothing changes is because this is scrolling to a specified position. It does not add 200. It simply goes to 200, if that makes sense. Okay, so um, let's just go inside here now and uh, uh, let's give ourselves um, some scrolling horizontally. So I'm going to say with here, set this to be 200px. Uh, so now we do have um, a scroll this way. So I can now go back inside here and I can say scroll to and pass through, for example, here, let's do uh, 300. So now pressing enter, we can see it goes 300 pixels um, on the X axis right over here. And of course, uh, the same thing works for the Y as we passed in both 300 and 200. Okay, so now let's have a look at uh, passing through a bunch of options and also the smooth transition. So let's go back inside here and we can say window.scroll2. This time let's pass through um, an object. And inside here we have up to three properties to provide. So the first one here is going to be called uh, top. So we can say top and uh, top works in the exact same way as the X. So we can say here, for example, 200, press enter. And now we scroll down to the 200 uh, position. Okay. Um, we can also pass through here um, one more this one being left and this works in the same way as the X. So we can say right here, um, let's just do 500, press enter and we of course go 500 this way. Now for the smooth transition, it's very straightforward. You simply say down here, you specify a property called behavior, just like this, and you set that to be a string um, of smooth. So now pressing enter, we can see right there, it does a nice smooth transition as it scrolls to that uh, that specified uh, position right there. So um, that is the window.scroll2 and the scroll method within JavaScript. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.